Uh, welcome to this uh, video to give you some feedback from the latest board meeting uh, which took place on the 25th of uh, April. Uh, we started the board as, as usual with a patient story um, and uh, Caroline Manson and Helen Jones from our therapy department uh, attended the board with uh, a patient to talk about the work of the hand therapy team um, and the incredible recovery. We heard about the incredible recovery of a patient uh, over the last two and a half years uh, following um, a rare complication, um, uh, following an injury and, and significant nervous damage. Um, the, 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 the patient story really highlighted the, uh, the, the great work of the team, but also the partnership between YDH and uh, specialist services uh, at uh, Stanmore Hospital. Uh, we then moved on to talk about uh, the operational position of the hospital and uh, the uh, recovery from the winter uh, months. Um, I think it, it's uh, true to say that the last couple of weeks have seen a real turnaround uh, in our operational uh, pressures uh, with uh, Ward 6A now back to elective operating and uh, the closure of Jasmine Ward which is uh, uh, really really positive for us. Um, we talked about the impact that the I Care About Patient Time Week had had uh, just after Easter I mean being a key, a key mechanism for us getting uh, the organisational back or the organisation back after winter uh, to an operational position uh, to a better operational position um, and, and, and clearly the challenge now is, is on to maintain that position over the over the summer. Uh, we, we focused on the also focused on the the dressed is best uh, campaign the 70 day campaign um, and uh, I, I think most of you or a number of you may have seen the video that goes alongside that which is really kind of heart, heart rending. Um, and shows the reasons why uh, it's in important to encourage uh, independence in our patients wherever uh, that's clinically appropriate. Uh, we spent some time at this month's uh, meeting uh, looking at the risk register and reviewing the top risks to the organisation uh, largely and you'll be uh, probably un, uh, it, it won't be a surprise to hear that uh, money featured at the top of that list uh, together with the impact of uh, the increasing demand on the hospital um, and also the, uh, the pressure of uh, CAMS patients on level 10. Uh, we also talked about a number of risks around fire safety and our uh, mitigations that we're taking to, to, to deal with that. Uh, the board can also consider a change in the constitution which would en ensure representations from uh, Simply Serve, Daycase UK and SHS uh, on our Council of Governors, uh, which is a really positive addition to the constitution. Um, as usual, we spent some time talking about operational performance. Uh, really uh, pleased to say that we maintained our A&E performance, our RTT performance and our performance around diagnostics and cancer uh, throughout the year. Um, in fact, uh, last week we were first in the country for our A&E performance, which is uh, I'm really, really proud about, about that. Um, and also uh, the, the progress that we've made around infection control, we're, we're amongst the uh, have, have some of the, the lowest infection rates in the southwest uh, as, a, as a hospital. Uh, we also talked about our financial position so at the end of the year we, we finished uh, the financial year with a deficit of 19.9 million pounds which is about uh, seven and a half million pounds adverse to our budget for this year. Um, half of that is really due to the fact that uh, we uh, didn't receive a, a, a bonus as a result of missing the, 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 uh, the, the control total for the year. Um, and the other half really due to uh, the materialisation of a number of costs that weren't budgeted during the year. Uh, for example, the, the cost of winter escalation. Um, we're, we're working through uh, at the moment with the, 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 the Somerset system, our, our budget and our, our operational plan for 2018-19 and uh, should be able to sign off today uh, the, the, the system-wide plan. And we're taking more of a system-wide approach to this. Uh, for, the, for the coming year, recognising that the financial challenges that YDH is experiencing uh, are also now replicated across the whole of the, the, the system in Somers Somerset. And there'll be some more on that uh, in, 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 in the future. Um, and, and finally, we, we received a, a number of reports. So we, we had a report from Linda Han and uh, Fiona Rook uh, on the, the work of the Freedom to Speak Up Guardian. Uh, we also heard from Tim Skull uh, about our, uh, through our learning from Death's report about the work of the Mortality Review Group um, and also received a, um, review, a, a, a report from Nick Call, who's our Guardian of the Safe Working Hours for Junior Doctors um, and, and heard about the work uh, that's going on there. We, we incidentally had a review from the, the Deanery of our Junior Doctor uh, Provision 
on Friday, which went uh, uh, really well. And, and I'd like to, to thank uh, Captain Fernando and uh, the team there for uh, their work in preparing for that, that, that visit. Um, and, and finally, um, some, some news around from the, uh, the Board of Trustees, which followed the Board of Governors. Um, and, the, and the Board of Trustees uh, approved funding for a new frailty unit on level six. Um, and so work uh, will be uh, progressing over the, the summer months uh, to, to get that in place ahead of uh, next winter. So those are the key points from the Board in April.